all of us have experienced loss, suffering and other life hardships. And when we look around at the world, we can see a lot of suffering. But again, we ask why God let such tragic and terrible things happen to us. Yet, we are his children and deserve better. I had one beautiful family before, you know, everything happened. He lived a good and happy life with the love of his life, plus the daughter who made their life meaningful. But life happened. The mother to her daughter mysteriously died. He believed that he saw death coming but was unable to read the signs. I had one beautiful lady by the name Milka. Now she's the let. But what really happened to this man and how is he coping with life? My name is Faustin Lipukul Kale. Faustin's story dates back to 2016 before he met Milka, the late wife. It's interesting that he first saw her on a friend's WhatsApp status and was like, can I have contacts? From there, they talked and then planned the first date. But as he could tell, the girl seemed not impressed. <laughs> yes, a short girl, you know. She was just minding her own business. She, as in, when you reached there, even she didn't hug me. Yeah? <laughs> you expected a hug? Yeah, yeah I was and expecting a hug, you know. Maybe we talk about, I'm a very shy guy. The guy had some feelings. But for Milka, it was taking too long that she even blocked the guy. And Faustin also did not force it until the right time when they all had feelings for each other and boom, they were in a relationship. And after two years in a relationship, that's when the lady became pregnant and they later produced this beautiful girl. Life was good. They both were happy. But then a tragedy happened. So uh, it was on 15th of August 2020. Yeah? Uh, that is a day I will never forget in my life. Yeah. It was quite sad. Yeah? It was it was one happy day, yeah, because that is the same same day we were from a family photo shoot. Since Faustin is a videographer and a photographer at the same time, after the COVID-19 and the lockdowns, he wanted to have some new family photos. But a day before, something strange happened, and they never paid attention. When a man was editing some photos, Milka came to her, and they talked of an article where a man had lost his wife after paying dowry. Well, that was a painful story, but they never minded. The next day, it was their first photo shoot, and they were happy. And of course, they took good pictures that they never knew would become memories soon. They even had to walk for four kilometers. And that was their last evening walk together, and she was singing for him. And whenever he listens to some of those songs, it brings all the memories. They then drove back home and Milka was singing to baby Talisha. A vehicle hit the side where Milka was sitting and the worst of all happened. He does not often want to recall or say anything about it. The last thing she ever told me was Be. That is, that is the last thing I can remember, you know. That is the last thing she... That is the last word she ever told me, yeah? because every time she was calling me Be, yeah? When that accident happened, no one was willing to offer any support. As even when the ambulance came, they did not take her until when the police arrived and she was taken to the mortuary. The man lost his mind since they had a wonderful day, took photos, posted, and people were reacting with good words. But later, they had a horrible ending. Yeah, Ikutakua Ajay, you know, that is like how is. The now, where is God? You know, at that time I was asking God why, you know, like why? Why this time, you know, eh? Why this time when we had, you know, we were, uh, we had started to see light, you know, like we had so much, you know, ahead of us, yeah. As in, why God? Why this time, yeah? I, I tried to, you know, I, I tried to jump on the road to get hit with a car, but uh, every time I could do that, you know, they could, you know, they could rush at me and, uh, get me back you know I, I was not believing that I'm signing you know I was given a book to sign you know we have to you know uh, as in Milke is now going to the mortuary the only thing that could maybe give me peace was just you know just not being there you know that is the only thing that could give me that peace you know so because I'm not even sure if Talisha will survive yeah
The funeral service followed and Milka was taken to rest, but Faustine has never got over it. Everywhere he goes, he thinks of Milka. The baby was taken to the hospital in ICU. She had lost memory and spent 23 days in the ICU. In that ICU, there were other young babies that did not make it, but luckily for her, she survived and now a big girl who is turning five by the end of this year. He realized that God has a big plan for her daughter. That's why he does everything to make sure that him and the daughter are happy. Now, the daughter goes to school every day and he has to pick her after school. We are waiting outside for him and the daughter. Say hi. Say hi. How are you, Salisha? <laughs> As any dad, you can't just take the daughter straight home. You need to pass by a supermarket and get your daughter everything she wants, then continue. As a single father, he will always try each and everything that makes their daughter happy. Since he's the only one here, he has to do each and everything for the four-year-old. From school, the daughter gets showered. After shower, she gets dressed. And the dad goes straight to the kitchen, preparing something for them to eat. It's difficult being the father and even the mother at the same time. Yet you have other job activities, but Faustine says he has to do it all and make sure everything is organized. It's now been two years since he lost the lover of his life and the memories of him and the lover always haunt him. Oh God, bless this food before we eat. Amen. Amen. <laughs> After taking lunch, they have to rest for at least an hour or two and then wake up, wash themselves, and get themselves ready to go somewhere. Taking the baby out is one way of not letting the daughter get bored, and they have to travel every evening, go out and visit different places. On their way, the father gets out and buys some fruits, and this is a day in life with him and the daughter and it has been helping him to slurry by slurry get by. But it's not that easy as wherever he goes, he thinks of the late partner and asks God, why let that happen? He concludes saying that if he closely observed his final moments with her, he would have noticed that death was calling. But unfortunately for him, he was not able to read the signs. He adds that he who gives is he who takes. You can visit this man on his Instagram account or check him out on his YouTube channel for more information. Life is a journey, not a destination, because it reminds us that life is an ongoing journey of learning and growing. Thank you for watching. I'm Elijah and this is Afrimax English. Remember to subscribe.